Okay guys, I know I've made like two or three other videos about this particular DSG build, but it's finally done, like, final build, assuming nothing else breaks on me. Um, this is what it's going to be, like, 90% of the time. Um, so I changed a couple things from when you saw it last. I actually got the stock on. It's a you know, six-position crane stock. Um, I did get a f uh, ACM ASAP plate. I hope this little ring holds up. And then got a replica T1 up here. Um, I need to adjust the, or I need to get a different barrel set for um, this 363 barrel, but gotta have that. And then let's see, I've also got a different receiver. Um, I recently purchased a Voltor style receiver, and that's what this is sitting in right now. Uh, my Polar Star is sitting in the old body that the CQBR came in, uh, but they all interchange, so it's all good. Um, and then I also switched the MOE grip to this GNP LMT Ergo grip. Um, I just want to talk a little quickly about this one right here. I actually like this <clears throat> um, better than the MOE grip because it still gives you that really nice sort of like backstrap feel and the, it gives you a little bit of finger grooves in here. Um, and it also comes in neat tan color. Um, but what it gives me more than both of those things is that it, unlike the MOE grip, it doesn't screw up my uh, motor alignment. Now with the MOE grips, I noticed that it's always just a little bit screechy. My motors warm up a little bit quicker, and I've been told it's because the way that the um, MOE grips are designed with the motor angle, it's actually at a slight angle. So no matter how perfectly you shim everything else, um, the MOE grip is going to cause it to misalign and create heat and whatnot. So I'm going to avoid using those and I'm going to start using these uh, LMT style grips. As far as I can tell, they align pretty well. Um, the biggest downside for this though is that on the base plate here, which is very secure, it is metal by the way, so it's a possibility for shorting, although I really haven't run into that so far. And it's not vented, so when running high stress setups like this, it's not ideal, but I I'm thinking that I could even probably just port this myself at the bottom with some little vents. Um, I did get the Chimera workings and it's working great so far. I put about another couple thousand rounds or cycles at least through this um, Since I finished it and it seems like it's working. Okay um, Running this is a real man's battery. Um, this is a hard case sky lipo 4400 ma 40 C uh, Constant 80 C burst. I'm um, really liking this battery so far. I just can't get a way to get this on here I'm gonna just end up velcroing it to the stock. Um, I'll have a video when that's done um but the reason I like the hard case is because I don't need to make a shield or a battery bag for this as it is. It pretty much comes pre-shielded and I just need to um, figure a way to attach it to the stock. Uh, running Dean's, of course, that should be self-explanatory. Um, so let's hear it shoot real quick after. I should also mention that I am using a JG Blue or Chowley Neo motor equivalent. Um, I pulled it out of a boneyard and it's got a blue end bell on it. Uh, it looks like it's a Chowley, but it, it, it performs more like a JG Blue. So I'm going to go and assume it's a JG Blue style, style winding, maybe about 20, 22 TPA. All right, so uh, just let me know what you think. Um, hopefully this one doesn't crap out on me anymore and I will hopefully have some shooting tests with it later.